Hey, hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we got a cool one for you. How to reset Windows Update and Windows 10 and 11. It's not hard to do. It's a simple batch file. It runs a bunch of commands for you. And what's cool about it is it would take you forever to do all of this manually. So what you're going to do is check the video description down below, expand if necessary, and download Reset Windows Update and Windows 10 and 11 right here. Click download now and the file will come to your drive. I already have it here, right here. And this is the batch file. So before we get started, you have to be an administrator. And I want to cover a couple things because once we run it, it's going to want to reboot the machine. Just to keep in mind some of the stuff that you could do to work on your Windows update. Clear your history, uninstall an update, Windows distribution folder, windows.old folder, there's all sorts of stuff you can do to fix Windows Update, but this is an easy one to go to for techs, home users, everybody. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to run the batch file. All you got to do is extract it from the zip, double click it, and then wait, and then go to a reboot. So, let me show you quickly. Here it is, we're going to click on it. Make sure you close all of your open programs because we're going to reboot when we're done. If you get the smart screen, click more info, click run anyway. User account control prompt, click yes. Now, you may see some errors. That's okay. You may not have everything in here. This is kind of a broad brush, so look for the errors. There they are. Pay no attention to them. You just don't have that registry value. So there's a bunch of stuff in here that has to be checked against. And if you have it, it takes care of it, deletes it, does what it has to do. If you don't have it, it's going to spit out an error like you saw here. And that's fine. Access denied, that's fine. You're resetting the Winstock catalog. And you can kind of scroll back up and see what it's doing. But as a general rule, there's, there's no harm here whatsoever. Basically, everything we're deleting in files, everything that we're deleting is a registry key or value will be recreated when you reboot. So even if it doesn't work for you, it's not going to harm anything. So we'll just keep this running for a minute. Sometimes it's going to be faster, sometimes it's going to be slower, depending on your computer. And we're going to wait until we get down until you see a screen that tells you to reboot and then you're all set. So <laughs> let's go. All right, so we're hanging up on this. That's okay. Again, every computer is going to work a little bit differently, so don't worry about it. There we go. I pressed enter, and all of a sudden it kicked in. So you never know. Try and cover everything here, and hopefully it works for you. So now you can see, restart your computer to finish resetting Windows Update. You press enter on that. Sometimes you got to click in the box a couple of times. There we go. And there you have it. So now it's going to reboot. And as you're going to see, your restart time, reboot time, might be just a little bit slower than it has been normally because it's going to be recreating any of these registry file or registry entries that we deleted, for example. So it might slow things down just a hair, but odds are you'll hardly notice it unless you're really paying attention to your boot time. So you just wait for Windows to come back up. There is no prompt afterwards, nothing. We just load Windows. Then you're going to want to automatically go right back in and go ahead and try your Windows update again. If not, we have other tutorials to repair it. Another thing you might want to consider if this doesn't work is run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Just do start search and you should be able to find troubleshooters there. So you'll come back in now that you're done and go to your settings and do your Windows update. But here's your search for example. So let's see if we can find it or search here. T-R-O-U-B. I think they're under, uh, I think it's under up Windows update area anyway. So we'll bring this up. Now as you can see they've changed it in Windows 11. But other troubleshooters should find it for you. And there's your Windows update, so you can click Run. And again, I don't want to do a whole thing on repairing Windows Update completely because there's a lot of steps to it. So hold on a second. 
am just letting this run in the background anyway. The other thing to consider, driving me nuts here, is if you get an error that says something along the lines of failed to reset Windows update error, then you're going to want to reboot into safe mode, start shut down, or start, bleh, start, restart, and tap the F8 or hold the F8 key and go into safe mode. Now run the batch file, batch file from safe mode. Pretty easy to do. Just double click it, reboot. There you have it. And that is how you can reset Windows Update in Windows 10 or 11. Make sure you check the video description again below for the link. I also usually put a little eye over here somewhere where you can click then click again and that'll jump you through to the page so you can get the file and check the tutorial if need be. And there you have it everybody. As always we appreciate you watching and visiting Major Geeks and we'll see you next time.